Hey everyone and welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida and today we are doing Money Mondays. You guys, so I've been supposedly setting up this financial planner, budget planner, and I just really, really have not had a chance. I wanted to make my own inserts, but I just have not had a chance to do my own inserts because I need my inserts to kind of cater to me. Uh, let's do a little quick... As you can see, this is how I did this insert, but I need to fix it. So I've just been using those and I did these, but they just didn't kind of coincide and wasn't cohesive together. So um, what I did do, I downloaded these from Infinite Lotus. Um, I have a financial overview. I'm gonna eventually do mine, but I just needed something like ASAP for this last quarter. And in the meantime, if I decide to um, make my own, then I'll just do that and I'll show those. But mine are coming, I just need some time. So I'm gonna throw these here in the back so they'll be on hand whenever I'm ready to like grab them um, in the future. So I just tried to print out enough for the next four months for the end of the quarter. You guys, we're in September. so. Again, these are from Infinite Lotus. I have the financial overview. I have the bills tracker. And then, wait a minute, bills tracker. Wait a minute, it's one more, I'm sorry. Not bills tracker, um, budget tracker. So I wanted to try something a little different for the last quarter of the year for my bills because, I'm just gonna throw this in here. I wanna make sure that I'm staying on task, staying on target with my budget. Um, earlier, if you saw my last video, I was talking about being intentional in my planning, being functional in my planning, and I basically want the same thing for my budget. So the first thing we're gonna do, you guys, we're planning for September. So I think that we should use, let me get rid of some stuff. I'm gonna get rid of this pad so that we can just get down and dirty in this budget. Okay, so we're just gonna start now with the budget tracker. Um, I'm still gonna keep September. I have these out for a reason because on hers, it says info, I wanna put months. So let me get my white out. And I'm just gonna wipe that out. I'm going to use my many months and I'm getting September. And these are cut so close. But they're perfect. And I'm just gonna put that here. And I started to write it, but I was like, I have script stickers. So we have that and now that says September. Get one of my pins, one of my good pins. I don't know, I have so many choices to choose from. I'm gonna use this one, Precise. This is a Precise V7RT by Pilot. So I like to list my bills for the month, starting with, to me, the most important, or Sometimes I'll start with the things that I do at the first, and then I'll go into my most important. So on the first, I have C and P, and I actually have two C and P's, and that comes up to, uh, I'll put C and P number one, C and P number two, and it's 38, 38. I don't have a balance. Is this the one I wanna use? Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think this is the one I wanted to use. I wanted to use the description. Eight. Yeah, I messed up. I wonder if I can get this off of here. Lord have mercy. Let's see. Oh, nope. <sighs> I wanted to use bills tracker, not budget tracker. I don't have a balance. So let me start over. I think I got two Septembers. 
At least I pray I do. I do. Thank the Lord. Okay, so we're using the bills tracker. That's why I kind of want to design my own. It wouldn't be a, been a mistake of what to use. So I'm going to get September again. And when we do some more Money Mondays, we'll have a use for this budget tracker. That's just for like our um, bills and things like that, the people that we owe. So on the first, we have CNP twice. And it's $38, $38. And then we have, I think, Amazon also on the first. And I think that's... $12.99? I don't know. I just don't even look anymore. Um, next up, we have Wayfair on the 2nd. And I don't know exactly how much my bill is. I really have to look. But I'm going to give them $50. It wouldn't be over $50. And then next up, I like to do my... Um, with things that are important to me, like my car note... And that's due on the 11th, car note number one. Let me go back up here and put number one and number two. And then on the 20th is car note number two. And it's 181.60. Sometimes I put 181.63 by accident. Okay, the next up, my most important thing to me is on the 28th, which is, which is, excuse me, my car insurance, um, life insurance, and thinking of insurance, I just thought of another bill. Um, here lately, it's been 233 okay, and then I don't have a date for this, but my AFLAC, I need to put that down. And actually, I think that it's due on the first of the month. So I'll put a two there. And the last time for the month, I paid about $159. I'm used to paying it through my job and paying it every week. But um, once we were on quarantine, I just paid it for the month, paid it up. Okay, next up, let's see, we have... Now, once doing XM Radio, I don't think I'm going to do them anymore. And then also, on the 4th, I believe, is the correct date. My appointment starts back up, which is Schedulicity, my appointment book. And it's been $20. Then, on the 17th is the gym. And that's really not important. I'm going to put 20 because the last time they took 20 Well, really $19.99. And then also on the 17th, I have Barclays, um, 18th, one of the two, Citibank, but I always kind of paid them before then. And then on the 15th, I've ha I have Capital One. And we did the Jim Barclays. It's, what did I pay them last? So the minimum is 30. I'm giving them 50, 50 to Citibank. And then Capital One, I'm going to do 50. The reason why I like my inserts, that's why I just like to make my own. Let me show you the difference. See, I like on mine, this was for August, to have the actual amount and the plus and minus. So I've got to remake those. I may just reprint these out and do it. Okay. But I'm going to stick with these for right now. I just needed something. Uh, Capital One. Also this month, here is my weekly pad from Cloth and Paper. Um, you saw it in my last video. Excuse me. But I have some things in here that's going to require some money for this upcoming week, which is the first of the month. We're going to... Um, I'm moving my daughter to Atlanta. She's relocating. So I'm going to put the fifth of the month, um, I need to give her, um, I'm giving her money towards her rent. Um, 
a total four dollars and just a three hundred. So I'm giving it a three hundred. And then also traveling expenses. And it takes me about maybe I'ma say with the hotel and gas about five hundred dollars and that's maybe included a little food here and there so we got that included um i did get a personal loan from my bank this month to help my daughter out to travel um the payment was what i was paying before i had paid them off and so i was able to handle that bill so i have plans a quick way to pay them off so anyway that's that uh so i don't have a date for that um oh i also have to get this hitch for her car that says it's gonna run me back 168. I'm gonna put 200 down for that. Um, I was thinking about putting it on a train and just have it shipped there because I just I don't know. Uh, let's see what else. I'm looking over here at my pad. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something like a subscription. Oh, I have um Canva. That comes out towards the end of the month. It just came out like the 25th. And that's $11.99. Um, I have a Shopify now. And right now, that's just $29. And I got to look at the date. Let me look back in my calendar and see when did that come out. I need some tabs in here. Let's see. Let me put down stamps.com. State Farm. See, oh, I got my cell phone bill I haven't done. Let me see. So Shopify came out like on the 10th. So let me put the 10th here. Um, Citibank Barclays, no XM Radio. We did State Farm, Stamps.com. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep Stamps.com because I think I'm going with Pirate Ship and I may not need that. Um, I'm not for sure, but Stamps.com comes out on the 20th. And that's supposed to be $17.99. What was that? But I got something for $20. I got a bill for $20. Um, T-Mobile. That's due on the 21st. I'm so tired of paying this bill. I'm going to put $300 down because I think I forgot to pay them last month. <laughs> so I'm going to put... I'm getting one of my little stickers out. My past due stickers. And let me put that right there on T-Mobile so that I'll be aware. Okay, so we have that uh, T-Mobile. So I just made a note here that it's past due. I just forget. I mean, my as bad as I need my cell phone bill, I just forget. And I've been trying to put money in my savings, so I'm trying to make it a bill. So I'm just going to put here on the 15th savings. And I really, I'm, where's my whiteout? I'm going to make that the 8th. Because I get a check on the eighth, so I'm put savings. I'm gonna try to do a hundred instead of the fifty. Uh, let's see. Still looking. See what else I owe. Amazon. I feel like there's something else I subscribe to because I've been hitting subscribe on a bunch of stuff, and I need to make sure. Oh, we got the gym. We got schedulicity. I think that's it. So I'll do the math, but so now what we're going to do, we're going to go in and put it in our monthly. I'm going to take this out and move it. September. September's always a really good month for me. So I'm just using this over here as a guideline, and I'm just going to go ahead and start putting stuff in here.
Okay, so I have these left over from last month and I'm going to reference those little small things. So I'm gonna take this gas, uh, where is it? I just saw it. Lord have mercy, I'm losing my mind. Here you go. I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna put it there. And I'm going to put um, travel expenses. So total about, I'd say 700 with everything, probably less. Anything else that I need to make a reference to? I have a piggy bank here. I'm going to use this to remind myself to make sure that I save. Um, I have a savings goal of the month. I want to get to 500. And then I set goals in my shop, but I'm doing the new shop, so I don't know. Um, I'm just going to put... I'm sorry, y'all couldn't see it coming. I kind of don't want it to be too plain. Shop goals. I'll list them here for Etsy. Um, Shopify. Etsy will probably go down because I won't be adding any new things to it, but it's okay. Um, I'm going to take this phone icon to remind me of the cell phone bill because as I can see, I clearly forgot it. Um, cell bill. I won't put another pass-through sticker over here. I think I got it. So, those are things that I need to be reminded of. Notes that I've made. My travel expenses especially. Getting the hitch. All that stuff. Um, I feel like this is a little naked. Like, I know I got more bills than this. But, if they do arise and they come up, I'll just um, add them. So, I'm going to just put these right here in between. So, I can at least get to what I have to pay right away. I'm charging my phone. So that's what we got. I don't think that, like I said, I'll come back and do like the um, financial overview and the budget tracker. I'm just going to play with it a little bit and just see how it works for me. And I may give it another go in October. It just depends. But this is what we have. This is, I think this video has been quite long, but it was needed because we needed to get everything down. We needed to plan for the month of September. Unbelievable, we're in September. Okay, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. As always, if today was your first time watching any of my content and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye.